It's time to join your host, Jean-Francois Jem, founder of List Building Anonymous, the 12-step program for building a profitable online business and the only podcast which delivers A to Z strategies from the online trenches and experts straight to you. Hi, my name is Jean-Francois and I'm a list builder. I want to welcome you to today's episode where we'll go over the step six of the 12 step program for building a profitable online business. So I'm really uh, excited and uh, can't uh, hardly uh, realize that we're already halfway through these uh, 12 step. The sixth step is uh, we choose the communication channels that best suit our attractive character. So first, the main different channel option that uh, is out there, there's five type of uh, channel and where we need to pick uh, at least two, where one has to be email. So the first is, uh, is email. And if we can compare to previous communication channel, but it's still a communication channel, but it's uh, largely replaced by email is uh, direct mail. The second one would be Facebook, which basically is uh, networking with our peers. The third one would be YouTube. So kind of uh, having a TV channel of our own. The fourth one is podcast. As you can see, that's the one I choose. (laughs) And uh, the fifth one is a a blog. So each one is a different uh, angle to uh, communicate with our audience. So like I said at the beginning, it's important to pick two of those where one has absolutely needs to be email. So next, uh, how to choose the best uh, channel for us. There's a couple of uh, key points and I'll uh, also give some, uh, some difference from one to one channel to another. But uh, first, what's important is to first focus on one and uh, master it. And maybe use other channel to promote that main channel that we uh, choose, like I said, other than the email. And there would be repurposing that uh, you can do. So whatever that you post in that second channel, you can for sure get that content to your subscriber by email or get your subscriber through an email to get them to your other channel. So with Facebook, it's good to maintain and uh, entertain following through networking. With YouTube, it might be a good choice if you're comfortable with camera and no script because it's it's difficult as the people will see your face. I see sometimes people that do YouTube video and, and you can tell just by the way they move their eyes that they're reading a script on the, on their screen. So normally to be really effective with YouTube video, It's important that you are comfortable to put content without having any script. With podcasts, it's the ability to explain ideas verbally. It's my choice because I've tried uh, for a long time video, which I'll probably do at some point in the future. But for now, I really like podcasts because uh, it's easy to share ideas because it's just verbally. You don't need to do all the um, video part and uh, you can easily use a script. Uh, which is not the case with the uh, video, as I just explained. And the last one with blog, what you need is uh, is copywriting skills. So for some people that would come naturally, for other, you might want to learn those skills. But these are the main difference between the different uh, channel. And lastly, what I want to cover also in this topic is the purpose of the communication funnel. So first, the main purpose is to put your attractive character in front of your audience, because like I say, you need to have one other than email. So in that other one, it's a way other than uh, your subscriber be able to read about what you're offering or what you're experiencing is that they can have that uh, either voice or see or read more when it's a blog. The other purpose also with that is to find your voice, also provide value. And also a a hidden benefit is to prepare content for future product or service, because either one of those uh, communication channel, it's content that you put out there, but it's content that you can reuse, repurpose 
eventually when times come to create either a product or offer a service. So in this episode, we focused uh, more on the communication channels part by digging into the different channels option and the importance of having at least two channels where one has to absolutely be emails. We also talked about how to choose the best channel to add on top of emails and how or maybe more when we should uh, add a third and more channels. And lastly, we learned the purpose behind the uh, communication channel. So we can't stress enough how important this uh, communication channels part is essential. And uh, unfortunately, many people seem to believe that they only need to drive traffic to an offer and send some emails. So you might get some result that way. But if you want to get serious and build a real and solid business, you have to expand your communication channel so you can get your voice and your message out there and attract your ideal customer. So next time we'll uh, work this step. We'll bring uh, together what we learned in step two about the attractive character and how we can use our communication channels to get it out there. Now for next week, we'll continue with uh, step seven, which is we humbly ask for our leadership strength to soar. And we'll have yet another amazing guest. So you don't want to miss this. Keep an eye on your email inbox as I will uh, send you the uh, invite and reveal the name of that guest. I want to thank you for tuning in and look forward to lock arms with you and together master these steps. Until then, wish you an amazing journey. This is the podcastfactory.com.